Hi everyone, my name is Justine and I'm from the National Institute for Cellular Biotechnology in Dublin, Ireland. And I'm going to show you how to prepare the complete medium for a fusion assay. So to make up your complete medium, you use a basal media, which is in our case DMEM Glutamax produced by Gipco. All our reagents are made by Gipco, but you can use your preferred supplier. So into your basal media, you use 10% of heat inactivated FBS. Heat inactivated is important to avoid any immunological reactions. Then you add your penicillin streptomycin mix, which is to avoid any bacterial contamination. And then you have your hacks, which is your selective agent for the fused cells. The last component is your hybrid cloning supplement, which is used to boost your fusion efficiency. So in our case, because we are doing a serum containing fusion, we use Brightclone, which is manufactured here on site in the NICB. If you're doing a serum-free fusion, then we recommend using a serum-free product such as Brightclone, but feel free to use any supplier you like. So today I'm going to make up 200 ml of complete medium, which is enough for 248 well plates. So first I'm going to transfer 175 ml of basal medium. Then I'm going to add 20 ml of heat inactivated serum, then 2, 2 ml of penstrap, 4 ml of hat, and 10 ml of brightlone because we use it at 5% concentration. Et voilà, that's it. So I usually prepare my medium the day before the fusion assay and I keep it overnight in the fridge, but you can also make it on the day. Just remember to, you, to put it in the water bath at 37 degrees prior to doing your fusion assay. And I would recommend not to make it any longer than 48 hours before your fusion assay. So this is step one preparation of your SP2 myeloma cells. So what you do is that you take uh, the cells of two flasks, two 75 centimeter square flasks that you transfer into a tube, a sterile tube. You spin them uh, for five minutes at 1000 RPM and then you resuspend in serum-free medium and then you spin again for five minutes and you resuspend the cells in 10 ml of medium again and you store them at 37 until you're ready to do the fusion. So step two is the preparation of your splenocytes. So you take your immunized spleen that you're going to place in a 100 micron cell strainer that's placed on a small petri dish that contains serum-free medium. Then you're going to mash up your spleen and you're going to collect your splenocytes, put them in a sterile tube, top up to 10 ml with serum free medium. You let the cells settle for two to three minutes and then you spin them uh, at, for five minutes at 1000 RPM and you resuspend in 10 ml of serum free medium. Step three is mixing your SP2 myeloma cells with your splenocytes. So you have 10 ml of SP2s with 10 ml of splenocytes. So you just mix them well together and then you spin them at 1200 RPM for five minutes and you repeat that washing step twice. So step four is your cell fusion. So you're gonna resuspend your cells in one ml of peg that's been pre-warmed at 37 degrees. So you're gonna add the peg slowly and then you're gonna start the clock and with your pasteur pipel, you swell and suck your cells, and you're gonna end up with 8.5 ml of plating media with your cells. Now there's different time points, but that's within the protocol. So once you've added the full 8.5 ml of plating medium, you're gonna incubate the cells for 15 minutes at room temperature. Then you're gonna spin the cells at 500 RPM for five minutes remove the supernatant and resuspend in 10 ml of, serum, uh, of plating medium and then you have your cell suspension that you're going to divide equally into any conditions that you want and you're going to plate your cells in 48 well plates and incubate for 12 days undisturbed. So the fifth and last step is the plating. So you're going to take 1 ml of your fused cells that you're going to mix in 49 ml, 49 ml of your plating medium. Mix that well and you're going to dispense 800 microliter of your cell suspension in each well of a 48 well plate. 
Wrap the plate with parafilm and place it in the incubator at 37 degrees for 10 to 12 days undisturbed.